In part one of File Management in Windows 10, we're going to cover File Explorer, Recent Folders and Files, which is a new feature in Windows 10, and the Browse dialog box. So let's start with File Explorer. In order to get into File Explorer, you click this icon, which you should be very familiar with. And File Explorer opens. Now some areas you're going to see here are Quick Access and this PC. Quick Access is where 100% of your files are stored unless you've made some special effort to store them somewhere else. This PC shows the same things, but it's a little less intuitive. There's some extra areas that uh, might be confusing. The most confusing part of uh, Quick Access is Downloads. It's where things go that you've downloaded from a browser. In this PC, you have your main hard drive, any external hard drives, and any flash drives you may have plugged into a USB port. Recent Files shows the last 20 files. You may not have opened 20 files, but shows uh, the last 20 files that have been opened. And Frequent Folders are folders that you open qu quite often or that are pinned to this area. If you want to remove something from Frequent Folders, you right click it and you say remove from click quick access and then it's gone. You can do the same thing with recent files. If I want to get rid of this first picture here I can right click on it and choose remove from quick access. Now if I want to add a folder to frequent folders, in this case I want to add the videos folder up there. It's not there now. If I right click on it I can choose Pin to Quick Access, and boom. If you look over on the right, you can see that Videos has now been added to Frequent Folders. So let's cover the Browse dialog box. If I want to download an attachment to my computer, I choose it and I choose Save As, and the Browse dialog box pops up. In the top left, you'll see it says Save Attachment. Now, if you look closely at that, it looks just like Windows Explorer. That's really what it is. It's a small version of Windows Explorer. To see this manifested in a different way, let's go to my Gmail. And I'm going to compose an email. And this time, I'm going to upload a file to Gmail to send to someone else. So I put an address, a uh, subject, and a little text in there. Then when I click the paperclip icon, I again get the browse dialog box. But it says something a little different up in the top left. It says file upload. But I have all the same locations except for that dumb one with uh, the butterfly on it. Now I can send this email with an attachment. A quick recap. We covered File Explorer. Recent Folders and Files, which is new with Windows 10, and the Browse dialog box, which is not new. That's been around for over 20 years. Things to remember about File Explorer are what icon opens it. And you might see that uh, in your taskbar. You might see that uh, on the left after you click the Start button. And what you're going to find there. You're going to find, with the File Explorer, everything that is on your computer. Things to keep in mind with regards to recent folders and files. You can pin something to Quick Access, but you can also remove something from Quick Access if you want to. The Browse dialog box, as I said, has been around for a very long time and can be confusing to, to a lot of people. No matter what it says in the top left, it's the Browse dialog box. And it's just a mini version of uh, Windows Explorer. You can see that these same places are there regardless of uh, which program pops this dialog box up. If you have further questions, feel free to visit us on the web at bradhelps.com or leave a comment in the comment sections below. Thank you.